Hello, welcome to Board Games with Niramas. I'm Joseph and I'm here today with Draco. It's time for us to explore the space out there, as you can see, because we are going to play some Empty Space Explorers, a new game that is on Kickstarter right now. You can click the little eye up there to go straight to the Kickstarter page, but before you do that, check out the run as well, because we will be playing a two-player game of Empty Space Explorers. Now, this setup here could be varied. This is sort of a basic setup with the cards like this. And I should also mention that this is prototype. To see the final components, how they will look, check out that Kickstarter page. This mat also is my own space mat, so that doesn't come with the game. In the setup, we each got four cards, four planet cards. Draco has his cards over here. We set everything up like this, and we are going to in turn order, youngest player starts, so that's Draco, obviously. He's going to reveal two of these planet cards. And he's going to start over here, just check out what this is, and maybe this one. And that's a red and a yellow, and let's see, I'll go over here, perhaps. It's another yellow. And I'll just take one down here as well, and that's a blue one. Okay, so that's just in the setup. Each player gets to reveal two of these to get things going. Now Draco is the first player on his turn. He can do two different things. He has this really nice play rate, which says he can either research or explore. And Draco is going to research. And when you research, the first thing you do is to pick up cards. So he can pick up two cards. He can choose from either the ones that are open on here on the market, or he can go for just drawing blind from the top of the deck. And I'm not going to show you Draco's card. He's going to play sort of in secret here. Hmm. And I think Draco is going to go for taking this yellow. And a new one will refill. And then Draco will take one from the top of the deck. Okay, and then he is going to play two different colors. That's one of the actions he can do. Because after you, when you do the research, after you pick up cards, you play cards if you want to. And then you discard down to four. That's the maximum hand size. And when he play cards, he could do four of the same color. That is buying a probe or a rocket. He needs to buy one of these probes to start exploring the universe and make it all the way up to the, one of the exoplanets up there. But we don't have player colors in this game, so we don't decide from the beginning who is who. You can be four players, that's why there's four different colors, but to get one of those, Draco needs to discard four cards of the same color. So if he would discard four yellow, he would become the yellow player, basically. Um, that's how it works. So anyhow, he could do that. He could also do this thing here, discard two of different color, which he's doing, to peak or reveal a part of the universe. Now, the reason he wants to reveal sometimes is because that could help him out to block me and so on. But right now, I think he's only going to peak. So he's going to take a look at this one here. And then Draco knows what that is, but I don't. There's a little bit of memory involved here, if you're going to peek. You only basically peek at some points, at some points you want to reveal. You'll see how that works later on. Now Draco has to discard down to four, but he has four cards in hand. So he's good because he did play those two, that, well, two of those that he picked up. And now it goes back to me. It's my turn. And I'm going to do research as well. You can't really do the explore action at the start because you need to buy one of those probes, first of all. So let's see what I have. I have a black hole, that's pretty cool. And I have two reds and a green. Well, you know me, I like to be the red player, so I might try to get four reds in hand. The black hole is good for just, you know, stopping Draco. You can't move into or around, sort of through a black hole when you start moving with your markers. Um, I think I, well, I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to draw from the top here, and that's a green. And you know what, since I have, well, let's draw one more blind. Oh, that's a yellow, that's terrible. So let's, let's just use these two to peek as well. And uh, let's see, Draco peek. I'm going to peek over, hmm, I'm going to peek over here. I'm not going to show Draco, but that is a wild card. And it's really nice because it's 50 years since the Apollo mission that landed on the moon. So to celebrate that, empty space explorers have all these wild cards being different Apollo rockets. I really like that. And this is a wild card. It could be any color of the four colors. So I know that that's there. Draco doesn't know that. I'll probably, you know, confuse these later on. Who knows what? But anyhow... So that was my action, and I'm done. Now it's Draco. He's going to research again. And he is going to draw from the top of the deck. And he's going to draw once more. And now he's going to play cards, and Draco have four yellows. Well, they have two of these Apollo wild cards and two yellows. So he's going to spend four yellow 
to become the yellow player basically and pick up the yellow probe and he's going to keep that at his uh, side. And then later on when he does an explore action he can start moving up here and try to find those exoplanets. So it's my turn again. I'm still stuck trying to... Now I see that Draco bought the yellow. So I know that Draco will probably try to take this route here because the thing is when Draco starts moving here, to move on to a red, he needs to discard a red card. But to move on to a yellow, that's free for him because he is the yellow player. So later on I will try to block Draco by, by playing this black hole onto a yellow and just you know stopping him. So anyhow, let's do research, let's draw from the top, let's hope we get some red, come on. Oh, there's a red. One more, come on, come on, come on, or a wild card. Oh, that's another red. I'm getting lucky here. So I'll spend my four here to become the red player, basically, to pick up the red probe. And we are both ready to start moving into the universe. But on it's Drax's turn now, and he, yeah, he is going to do the explore action. And doing the explore action, he can first play cards, just like you do in the research step, too. So he is going to not play any cards. He's going to go straight for move, probe, or rocket. And he's going to move on to this red, and he's going to discard to pay with this red card. That's the price for him moving on to here. But now he can keep moving on his turn as long as he can pay for whatever he's going to or if it's his own color like in this case he can go to the yellow because that's free for him. He could go straight into here into you know the empty space and explore like the game name suggests. The, the problem is though if he doesn't have that color that's there then he can't continue moving and if it's a black hole then this one gets destroyed and it goes back to Draco. But if Draco is a brave little dragon he's going to gamble and go straight into this and we'll see and he's going to find out that it's a wild card. I knew that already because I peeked but Draco didn't but he's happy about that. But I don't think he's going to gamble anymore he's going to stay right there and it's my turn. I am also going to start moving. My problem though is I have like the Mm. I have a black hole, but I have a green, so I could move into here, but then I can't move anything more because I don't have a yellow. Uh, well, I'll, I'll move into here. Well, I can play cards as well. Or maybe I shouldn't do the explore. I should do a research first and just pick up some cards. And now that the game gets more interesting in a way, because now I know sort of what I want to go for, and that makes the research more interesting to pick up the right colors. I mean, I could pick up the blue card here and start on the blue, but yeah, I don't know if that's smart. I am going to do this. I'm going to draw from the top. That's another green. The third action we could do when we play cards is to change the universe. If we spend three of the same color, then like if I spend three greens, I could turn one of these reveal spaces into green instead. And that's a way to get rid of the black holes later on as well. But I'm going to pick up this blue. So that's my two cards that I picked up in my research pick up card step. And now I'm going to play cards. I'm going to play these two yeah i'm going to play these two here to peak because i want to know hmm yeah i mean if i go here that's yellow and that's free i want to know what's up here and actually you know what i can do yeah yeah, yeah. instead of peeking now i'm going to reveal so i'm going to reveal this card which you could think well that's help draco right but the thing is i can keep playing cards if i can and I'm going to play the black hole right here. That means that Draco is stopped. He can't move up there. He has to deal with that black hole or move around it somehow as well. He could do that. So that was my action. And now it's time for Draco. Draco is going to... Hmm, he's going to research. He's going to draw from the top here. And another one. And then he can play cards. And he's going to play a black hole down here to stop me from moving in on the free red spot, right? So he's happy about that. Back to my turn. Wow, okay. Now that's tricky for me. Now I need to, I can't start there now. I need to start on, I would like to peek. Yeah, let's draw from the top here. Let's do research. I'll draw a card. I got a yellow and I got a, another yellow. So let's spend a yellow and a green to peek or reveal. I don't need to decide beforehand. I'll, I'll peek at this one here. That's a yellow. I do have a yellow in hand, so let's reveal that so I can start there next turn and start moving. So it's Draco's turn, and he is going to... Wow, he can really block me now. Yeah, he's going to do research. He's going to pick up from the top here, two cards, and then he is going to play a card. He's going to play another black hole down here. Just to stop me from entering the game, basically, from starting my journey up here in the universe. So, ah, that's annoying. Good play, Draco. But it's my turn. 
I only have my yellow card. I guess I'll have to research. So let's draw. It's a red. Let's take a green so I have some variation here. New one comes up. There's another green. Back to Draco. Now Draco is going to move. He's going to do the explore action. He can move for, let's say he can play cards first, but I don't think he's going to do that. He can move for free into here because that's yellow. He is going to move up here. See what it is. Gamble. It's a blue. And that's not an issue for him because he has a blue card he can discard. So he goes up there. And he's going to gamble again. Go up here. And that's a red. And Draco can discard a red card. You see he's stuck up. He was stuck up on on these different colors so he could gamble a bit and he's going to go all the way he's going to gamble he's going to go up here and it is another red he doesn't have another red card in hand so he can't keep moving but now he's sort of yeah he's getting really close here i need to start moving it's my turn wow i don't know if i peaked i think draco peaked i don't think i know what that is i am going to explore i'm going to gamble and start here i need to move, be moving and it's a green one i can pay a green card so that's cool Let's move again up here, and it is a blue one, and I don't have a blue card, so I have to stop. Wow, okay, Draco, you're doing really good. So Draco is going to research. He's going to draw two cards. He doesn't want green. He wants red, so he's going to draw from here, and he's drawing there again, and that was his whole turn. Back to me. I need a blue to move there, so I'm going to research, draw a card, and that's a green, and draw another card. That's a yellow Okay, so it's Draco's turn and he is going to explore. So Draco is going to move here and he's going to pay his red card. Now, as soon as one of the players move up to the final row there, then all the exoplanets will be revealed and we'll see which color is where. Well, at least it wasn't yellow, right? Yeah, yellow is over here. Okay, that's a little bit tricky for Draco. He needs to move over to the yellow one. But that was Draco. Let's see. Well, he can still move. Yeah, he's going to gamble and move over here. And if it's a black hole, he's going to be sent all the way to the front. So, no, it's a blue one. And he can get there with his blue card. He's going to discard. He's going to gamble go here. And that's another blue. He can't go there because he doesn't have a blue card in hand. Now it's back to my turn. And I can see that Draco is really close. I mean, this is a racing game. What we want to try to do is as soon as Draco goes up there, then he can buy his yellow rocket for four yellow cards. And he can start climbing with the rocket. Once he gets to the top, He's the winner. So it's my turn. I need to do something. Uh, I don't have the right colors in hand. That's the problem. So I can't get to that blue. I have to research. Yeah, so let's research. Let's draw from the top. It's a green and another green. Oh, and I need to disco down to four. So how do I do this? Wow. Did I stop Draco somehow? I could do the third action that you haven't seen yet, which is to play three cards of the same color to change the universe. But that won't really benefit me right now. Now I know where the red exoplanet is, so I need to work my... This is a good spot, but that's two reds. I could change something. I'm just going to do it to show you how it works. I'm going to pay the three of the same color. I'm going to take one of those and change some planet here. I'm just going to change this one because I know this green is out here. I know that I can get green. So I'm going to discard this and turn this into green. So that was my action. Instead of discarding, I actually used the card for something. And now it's Draco's turn. And he can't get over there, so he needs to draw in the research. So let's see. He got one card and two cards, and he's happy with that. And it's my turn. I still, I don't, now I don't have any greens to move there, so I need to pick up one green here. And I see that it's yellow and then it's blue. So I need to draw one. Let's see, one should be refilled. Could pick up that blue. That's perfect. And it's going to be refilled. So now I know that I can go green, yellow, blue, red, red for free. Then something here. And then, yeah, I could make it sort of bite. So I'm going to discard one yellow. So I have the other ones. Oh, wait, I don't need the... I don't need the red, by the way. I could discard the red instead. Because I don't, you don't need your own color. Except for, like, changing the universe, which is good as well. But... So that was it for me. Now it's Draco's turn. He is going to explore and I'm like, no, Draco, could you make it? And he can, he has the wild card. So he's going to move over here with the wild card and move up there for free because that is his own planet. Now Draco is locked up there. His probe is going to stay there. But now if Draco gets four yellows, he can pick up the rocket and start moving. So that's his next goal.
So it's my turn. I'm, I'm still not out of it. It could take a while for Draco to get his right, you know, get four yellow. So I am going to start moving. I'm going to do the explore. I am going to, uh, let's see, pay a green to go there, then a yellow, then a blue, and then I go for free on my own. And then I am going to gamble and go over here. And it's a black Oh no. No, come on, game. Well, it's good that you saw how that works <laughs> because my my probe is destroyed. It goes back home and I have to do the whole thing again. And I need the cards to do that. Wow, that's terrible. Well, it's Draco's turn. He's, you know, he's laughing at me. He's just going to start digging for yellows, basically. So he's going to research, pick up two cards and he's done. It's my turn. And then once again, I need to research. I need these two. I'm going to take those two. Two new ones comes up, which is kind of bad because then Draco can see that there's a yellow there. So he's going to research, of course. He's going to pick up a yellow. Another one comes up and he's going to draw one blind. And he's going to, well, he doesn't need to discard. He can peek instead. So he's going to spend two of different colors to peek or reveal. And, you know, Draco needs to, and this is interesting. Draco needs to start thinking, how is he going to get up there again once he gets that rocket? So he needs to figure out a path that works well for him. I think he's going to peek at this one, actually. What do you like that, Draco? Okay. And then it's my turn. And let's see, now I can start moving again. So I'll do that. No, I can't. I need more. Wow, I need one more green. I could go in here, start here and move up. But I don't know what that is. Draco peaked, but I didn't. So now I'm going to research. I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to take one more green into hand. And there's a black hole. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Wait, yeah, I should, because otherwise Draco will take it and block me. And then a new one comes up. And another black hole, and I need to discard down to four. I need green, green, yellow, blue. So I'm going to discard this black hole, actually, just get rid of it. So I have four cards. Then it's Draco's turn. And let's see, he's looking for yellow, so he will just keep drawing here. So he draws two. And he did not get what he wanted. He's going to peek again with two of different colors. I think Draco is going to be looking for a good way to getting up there. He's going to peek at this one. That could help him out knowing what this is. Okay. Then it is my turn. Oh, actually, Draco's going to reveal this. Yeah. I can't keep all these cards in my mind and uh, talk at the same time. So he's revealing. You can reveal or peek. It doesn't matter for him. He, now he, it's easier for him to remember that he wants to go somehow this route here. Go yellow because it's free for him. So that was Draco's turn. He did research. He has four cards in hand. It's my turn. And now I need to start moving, right? So I'll do the explore action. I'll go here for a green, there for a green, there for a yellow, for a blue, two reds. Oh, wait. Yeah. It's blocked here. The black hole is there. I can't go diagonally. But I'm paying all of these to get up there. So at least I'm close. That is Draco's turn. He is going to keep doing his research. Trying to find those yellow cards. And he's going to draw one more. He's going to take the black hole. It refills another black hole. And then Draco is going to spend. Now he has four yellow. So he'll spend those four in the play card step of the research to get his rocket. And he gets also gets a bonus. He gets to place it out here for free. The first, first sort of step is for free. And he's going to go here. And he started to move. Now it's back to me. I have no cards in hand. I need three cards of the same color to turn that black hole into something else. So I'm going to start researching. I'm going to draw a card blind. Oh, that's a black hole. That's really not going to help me right now. And another one. It's a yellow. Well, actually, now I can play cards. I'm going to play this black hole right here to stop Draco. So Draco can't be moving up there. So that's actually good. Then it's Draco's turn, and he's kind of annoyed about that. He doesn't like that at all. He's going to research. He's going to draw from the top here. And he draws again. And that's his turn. My turn. I need to find two more yellow, basically. So let's draw and hope I get them. That's a blue. And that's a yellow. Okay, so that was my turn. Draco's turn. He is going to... Hmm. Yeah, he's going to research. He's going to draw from the top here. And again. Wow, that didn't help him at all. He's going to play... He doesn't want to discard. So he's going to play these two to peek or reveal. And I think he's going to go up here. He's going to reveal this. It's another blue. Okay. 
back to me my turn i need one more yellow so let's draw let's research and that's a red and that's a green oh i need to i'm gonna discard this red i think draco's turn he is still looking for something here he's going to research and draw a card and another one wow god he's not getting what he wants Okay, so he's going to spend two of different colors to just peek somewhere. And I think he's going to go over here. He's just exploring. It's just fun for him. Check out the universe. My turn. I need another yellow, right? Well, I need two yellow, basically. So let's draw here in the research. And that's a wild, okay. And that's a wild, okay. Now I can do it. So now I'm going to spend three of the same. In the play card step, I'm going to play three of the same color to turn this black hole into a yellow and then I have another yellow in hand or a wild so that means I can get there on my next turn so Draco now let's see could he no okay he's going to research he's going to draw cards and again and now he's going to play three of the same color this is red he doesn't really want to use red because that benefits me but he needs to change this black hole into something else so that's a red instead now it's my turn and I am going to explore. So I am going to spend my wild card to move here and then go for free into there. And now I need to find four reds in order to buy my rocket and start moving and catch up to Draco. So it's Draco's turn. He is going to research. He's going to draw a card and another one. And that did not help him that much. Huh. Okay, well, he's he's going to discard a green card, yeah, because he knows that he needs he needs red and ye yellow he doesn't need, but red and blue and then red and then blue. Okay, so that's it for Draco. My turn now. I need to look for four red cards, which means we need to shuffle this deck. And I'm going to do research and draw two cards. And I am looking for reds and I didn't get any of that. I could do some peeking. Could be nice later on. Oh, I'm just going to stay like that. And it's Draco's turn. And he's doing research again. Looking for cards. And there's a whole lot of looking for cards here in this kind of part of the game. Which kind of slows down the game a little bit. But it's okay. And then he's going to play cards, and now he just he has two black holes. He just want to get rid of them. So where would he put them to just and be annoying to me? He could put one here. <laughs> that makes it so that I have to go in the same line as he's doing on the green here. And he could put the other one. He could put it right here because I'll probably try to go that way later on. So that's just trying to. He's just trying to block me. It's my turn, and still that looking for cards, right? So let's keep looking here. Two more. And I kind of wish, I would say, if there's anything I, I kind of don't like about this game, it's this part. I, I would like to see something where you could trade like three, two of a color to a wild card or something like that. So that you don't get the slowing down of the game. Because the first part is fun. You try to rush up there. Once you both people have their rockets, then it starts being fun again. We start racing again. But this sort of in the middle ground here where I'm just looking for cards. Mm, it, it's, it's a bit lame, to be honest. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, so that is it. Now it is Draco's turn. And now he can, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, he's going to do research once again. He's going to look. He also He's also looking for red cards. Okay. Then he's going to discard. Let's see, one of, uh, one of each color, or like two different colors. So that he can peek or... Um, look at something yeah, I think he's just gonna look over here I mean he never knows maybe he'll find like another yellow path he could take something like that my turn and as you know uh, I'm just I'm just looking for reds uh, which yeah there's a red and there's a red okay so that's good I have to discard two cards let's discard these greens Draco's turn he is going to 
Hmm. Okay, he's gonna start moving. He's gonna do the explore. To move on to the red, he has to discard a red card. So he goes there. Yellow is free for him. Blue, he has to discard a blue card. And then he's going to discard a wild card to move on to the red. Yellow is free for him. And blue means he can get all the way up there. And he's almost in there. He doesn't have any cards, but he's almost making it to the finish line. My turn. Wow, can I stop Draco? No, I need to research to find my fourth red, really. So there we go. It's not it. Oh I, oh, I just realized I could have stopped him by taking the black hole. Ooh. I can do that later on because he's stuck. He doesn't have any cards. So I'm discarding down and it's Draco's turn. He's researching, obviously. He needs to find a blue card. And he's researching two cards and he's done. It's my turn and I realize I have to put that black hole up there. Otherwise, Draco might make it. So when I do the research, I'll draw one. I'll take the black hole first. New one comes out and it's a red. So I'll take that. New one comes out, it's a wild card. Now I'm going to pay my four reds to get my rocket, finally. And I'm gonna place it here, this is the only place I can start on here because the other ones are black holes. And then I'll play my black hole up there to block Draco. So he was so close, but not, not really there. I might have a chance, so Draco's turn. He's, he looks kind of sad, I think he would have made it if I hadn't blocked him, but he's going to take this one in the research, that's a wild one. And he's going to take another green, and then he's going to play three greens to change the universe. So this black hole becomes a green planet instead, so he can move there. My turn, and we're almost at the finish line, and a new card should come up here. And let's see, now I need, I can move, I need yellow, blue, something else. I'm going to pick up this green, something else comes out, it's a yellow, I'm going to take that. And now I'm going to play two cards to pe to reveal, or to peek, basically. So I'm going to play these two, because I want to know what this is. Oh, that's a red. Wow. So by using this, I could move. I only need a blue and another yellow, and I can make it. Okay. So it's Draco's turn. And he's going to research. He's going to take this green, because when he has a green, he can move up there, right? Another yellow comes up. He's going to draw one blind, and he's done. And I know that Draco will win on his next turn. And I can't really stop him. Can I? No. I have to research and draw and hope to get a black hole, basically. That's not it. I have about two. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. I might be able to stop Draco. I know that he took a green. I can play three yellows to change the universe here into... No, yeah, he is yellow. I'm stupid. Then he can just move in for free. <laughs> I can't stop him. Okay, so it's Draco's turn. He's going to do the explore. He's going to put up a green and he's moving there and he's moving in here for free and Draco won the race in Empty Space Explorers and that's how the game plays and really fun game I think I think overall there's a lot of fun racing parts in this it's a lot bit of you know luck of the draw of course since you have cards but it's really fun with the variation you can set this up in different ways uh, the, the rule book suggests like a question mark thingy and different kinds of setups so that you have to navigate through the universe and it's, it's a fun race it's quick it's a sort of Really, you know, lightweight game, but there's some strategy involved here as well. And you can mess with your opponent a little bit like that. I do like it. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go check out the Kickstarter link by clicking the eye up there. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening or morning, whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Be like Draco. Follow board games with Niramas on Facebook at BGW Niramas.